Hello. Testing, testing. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you're all here. Brilliant. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Hola mis amores, ¿cómo estáis? <laughs> oh, you're all asking to join. I don't know if I can, if I can, you can join me, but uh, I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it. But I'm happy to talk about stuff. I've got l questions here from from the guys at Outlander that have sent me on Twitter. Um, that I'm just gonna like go through, answer. I'm gonna keep an eye on the chat as well. So if you have any questions there, stick them in. I'll try and answer as many as possible. Um, evening started, JB. Yes, Claire, absolutely. Um, time, let's uh, let the show begin. Let's go. Um, so I hope you all enjoy season six so far. Um, absolutely loved it. Uh, amazing experience to work on. Um, yeah, just let's get right in there, shall we? Um, so, Teresa Home 13 on Twitter. She asked, is working with Rolo after such a long Droughtlander break difficult? Um, and does he remember you? Uh, I love, obviously I love working with Rolo, Dewey. Don't listen to what anyone else says. He's brilliant. Um, and yeah, yeah, he's great. Uh, he does remember me. It's funny, he's, a, he's like, a, he's a very friendly dog. He walks around, says hi to everybody. The minute he sees me, his little ears go up. His little tail goes up, he comes straight over, he knows exactly who I am because, you know, we, we worked together since he was a puppy. So, yeah, it's like, yeah, we're just good old pals now, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my little my little spiel about Rolo. What we got here? How is it working with the Canadian actor, says Rachie, um, the Mohawk, etc. I'm from Canada and Braden is amazing. Braden is amazing. Braden Clark, my bro. Um, working with all those guys was so much fun. Glenn, Morgan, Braden, Barbara, um, gosh, so many. They were just fabulous. Blair, um, a real amazing experience. I mean, just to be able to get people to come over during that time and film in the UK together was fabulous. Um, and just like share Scotland, share our culture. They brought their culture. It was just, it was just incredible. Um, I have nothing bad to say about them. There's amazing people. Can't wait to go and visit them in, in Canada too. Um, let me see. So, um, Shadows Ahead says, oh, you seem very natural and graceful in your movements with weapons. Thank you. Uh, how much training did you have to do before filming? And do you have a favorite to work with? Um, so, um, thank you very much for the compliment. Uh, I'm a bit of a dancer, so I suppose that kind of comes in handy when we're doing weapons and stuff and training um i think my favorite personally is the kind of tomahawk war club combo um you can do lots of cool things with that i feel like i'm in a video game it's great um so yeah that's kind of that's my favorite ian's story broke my heart well done john thank you so much yeah those those scenes were really important to us me and sam we wanted to do right obviously working with sam is is fantastic he's such a generous actor um and really just was there with me in those scenes he's always there with like a little word of encouragement uh well that's a little wink or something just you know he's there on your side so you just immediately feel at ease in those scenes and you can really go those places and, and i'm so glad that the the ian and and jamie's story has touched so many it's really beautiful um so miss money penny on twitter asked how long did it take you to learn the Mohawk language and is it easy or difficult to grasp and maybe teach us a line or two? Well, from what I can remember, um, Segon Gnumwes is greetings, basically, and it means may the, may, the, may the great peace be upon you, which I always think is really beautiful. So there's a little line. Um, and it was difficult, yeah, at times, you know. Uh, we had... A great wealth of knowledge to pull on, um, including elders uh, over in the Mohawk Nation who were there to make sure that our, you know, pronunciation was correct or um, translations were correct. And yeah, it was just it was just really, really interesting. I love languages. I love all of that. So to be able to kind of dip into that language and, and share it and, and meet actual speakers of it was was awesome. Um, 
qué episodio tan bueno, el 4, gracias, sí, gratis. Um, what was harder, Mohawk or Gaelic? Probably Gaelic. Um, yeah, Gaelic's tough. Uh, it's the spelling. Can I, can, I, can I do the spelling? It's like, I, that's not what it sounds like. Um, <laughs> um, Hola John, buenas noches desde Extremadura, España. No he visitado, ya no he visitado Extremadura, pero eh, está en mi lista, gracias. <laughs> Hi from Inverness. Um, ciao John from Italy. Oh, it's so cool. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? Outlander reaches so many, so many corners of the world. It's so cool. Um, let me see. Uh, Rhonda Swag 14 on Twitter. She asked, we have watched young Ian mature... From a scrawny, pouty teenager. Thank you. Oh, scrawny. That's definitely me. Um, into a buff warrior. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, caught between two worlds. What has your fitness routine looked like during the pandemic? I mean, we, we, we kind of just call it like the, the, the outlander routine is that you're just working so hard on days and it's cold and you're fighting to keep warm <laughs> that your just body just stays fit during that. Um, yeah, I don't really do anything in particular. Maybe I should get on Sam's routine and, and see what's going on there. Um, okay, Mandler asked, I mean, maybe I check the chat. Love your energy. Thank you very much. Ian better not bounce back with Malva, run, Ian, run. Hashtag run, Ian, run. That is true. Malva definitely has something else up her sleeve. But isn't Jess amazing? I mean, isn't she amazing? I know. It's just when you're all like, oh, God, she's send her love because she is playing that character to a T. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Rosie Kearney, hi from Whitechapel. Don't know who you are. Sorry. Um, <laughs> how many languages do you speak? Um, well... I spent a lot of time out in Spain, so I can chat away in Spanish a bit. I don't want to embarrass myself, I'm a bit rusty. Um, hello from New Hampshire. Oh, there's Emma. Hi, Emma. In Protection Squad. But Jess is perfect as Melba. Yeah, true. She is. She's just fantastic. Uh, she goes on such a journey. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll go back to these ones. Have a wee peek. Uh... Ian knows that he can't travel through time, but if he could, where do you think, what do you think Ian would do? I kind of joke about this, but I bet if he went to our time, he'd be straight to the accessory shop, you know? I mean, he's the king of accessories. He's got his bracelet, his necklace, he's, uh, you know, always decked out in the latest fashion. I think he'd go shopping. I think he'd have a great time. I'd love to go shopping with young Ian. You know, I'm just going to have a wee bit, wee bit of wine, you know, it's not the end of the day. A wee wine chat, chat with my pals. Um, let's see. Do you have anything in common with Ian? Uh, God, it's hard, it's, you've been playing this character so long, it's kind of like, it's hard to separate where do you start and Ian ends, you know? Um, love for his family, you know, I'm a family guy. Very lucky um, to have a good, very good family around me here in Scotland. So share that with them. Um, I like to think he's you know, a bit cheeky chappy. like to be a bit cheeky sometimes too. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, young Ian's a part of my heart now forever. And just can't wait to keep, keep taking him on this journey. Keep taking him. He's along for the ride. And so you all. Um... John asked for merchandise for the series. I love the wolf head that Emily gave you. Okay, little story here. So, spoilers coming up for 604. Um, I had a I had the scene where I kind of give that necklace to the river um, and sort of let her go in that moment. I really love that necklace too. Um, and Claire from our department, I saw her say hi. She, I told her, I was like, Claire, I've lost the necklace. I threw it into the river by accident. I thought it was a stone. I'm sorry. Actually, I tucked it into my pocket and I kept it. And then I did it again and I lost it again. And she was like, John, stop losing these necklaces. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I actually got one from Morgan as well. So now me and Morgan both have little wolf necklaces, uh, which is just great. But yeah, they should totally release them um, as like 
<laughs> steal the yep, definitely stole the necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um Do you remember your audition screen scene screen test? Would you tell us about it? God, that was a while ago. Um kind of just a pretty standard edition. I always wonder how many young Ian did they actually audition before they gave the part to me. Uh it was at the in the, during the Edinburgh Film Festival. I went to Simone's office, the, one of the casting directors, uh, and I did a lot of work on it, I remember. I remember thinking, like, this is a really cool role. Uh, I should give this a really good go. Uh, and so did the audition, quite normal. I remember it was, like, it was like a bunch of construction happening. So I had to act with, like, beeps and noises and, like, diggers going past. Um, and then about a week later, just got the offer and then kind of didn't know what I was going on to. Uh, the scale of it as such, but um, but I haven't looked back since it's, that day changed my life. Um, let's see here. Can you, t- let's see. Anya said, can you tell us something about the cultural meaning importance of the Mohawk clothes and things you use? Um, so yeah, obviously, uh, young Ian's costume is really, evolves with him, you know? You, st- you meet him back in Scotland and then as he goes off to his, uh, America and finds himself spending that f- how many years, three or four years with the Mohawk Nation, you see his costume change and it's a reflection of him. Um, I can tell you that the significance of the bracelet that he wears uh, is really interesting because the costume designer, uh, she Trisha, she... Um, Found this document from the nineteen from the seventeen nineteen seventies law from the seventeen seventies, and it was basically this guy had documented uh, all the different beads and patterns that were that he saw uh, amongst the amongst the Native Americans, and they all had different meanings, and he'd written them all down. So here in this twenty first century, in this TV show, here we have this document kind of saying this is what this means and this is what this means. So. Young Ian's bracelet has has a specific meaning. It's like it's like the written language. It says, you know, um, white man of a uh, that is now Mohawk. Um, so it was it was really cool, and I loved those kind of details that you might not appreciate um, when you're just kind of watching the show as an audience member, but that they're actually all there. Um, and one of the interesting things as well that always gets asked is about like my silver kind of badges that are on my jacket and on a lot of other people's jackets they're trading pins so we would use them to sort of barter at the time when we went to trading posts so yeah they look cool but they're actually they actually do serve a practical purpose um what's your favorite costume piece uh says mrs yelvey which would you add to your everyday attire god there's so much i would wear um and like modernize it a bit but Ooh. I don't know, I kind of like the, bring the gators back, right? Like the full, like, chap moment going on. Like, I, I, that could be kind of fashion nowadays. I kind of love that. Oh, and the big jacket too. Love a coat. Love a big jacket with the fur lining. It's probably my favourite. Just gives me power. Gives me movement. Allows me to swish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, young, wait, let me see. Young Ian is my absolute, Chris, Christina. Hi, Christina. Young Ian is my absolute favourite character in books and in the series. Who is your favourite character? Um, I think it's probably Claire. Yeah, I just love the, that she is that she has this modern uh, take on everything. And, and I love Young Ian's admiration of her. And I have the same admiration of Katrina. So it's, it's very easy to play that. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say, I'd probably say Claire. Oh, she's probably my favourite. Um, hola John, saludos desde Chile, hola Oli, hola, um, hello from Poland, hi, uh, saludos desde Chile, te amamos, my fave character, ay, os amo en Chile también, um, hola de Colombia, ah, oh, todos los eh, hispanohablantes están aquí, um, okay, going to Scotland with my family in summer, any suggestions on fun things to do? Greetings from Sweden. Oh, well, I think everybody, I'm going to let you into a little secret here. Glasgow is a great city, but everybody forgets about it. So come and check out Glasgow. Spend a day or two here. Lots of history. Lots of sites of the filmed Outlander and stuff, if you want to go and see some of that. 
but uh, it's, a little, it's a little secret. People don't usually come to Glasgow, so it's always nice to, to say, don't forget about us here. We're really friendly, I promise. Um, okay, let me see. we got another question here from Twitter. Um, uh, okay, um, hold a Petra said, young Ian saw Jamie as a parent he wanted to have, an idol and a teacher. How does Ian see Jamie in season six? I think none of that's changed. Yeah, uh, Ian, Jamie is his father figure out there. So, of course, of course, that, that that's pretty much all the same. But they grow closer. I mean, these two guys, God bless them. They've been through a lot. You know, and it's interesting that their stories sort of mirror each other, right? There's parallels between them. So whatever Ian's going through, Jamie's kind of already gone through. So there's this kind of, there's this real beautiful bond that only grows stronger and stronger and stronger um, as, as the series progresses and as, as we move on further. Um, that, that, yeah, just cements that, which is just great. And it means getting to work with Sam more, so. Always happy with that. Um, what's this? Is it true you have a festival coming up with two real unicorns coming up soon? My friend is headed your way in about a week or so. A festival with two real unicorns. To be honest, that does sound like my Saturday night, so probably, but I kind of have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, favorite thing about the cast of Outlander? Just how much we get on. Honestly, just how much of a laugh we have on and off set. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's just such a laugh all the time. Um, let's see, maybe get, grab one from, from the Twitter. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. okay, Chelsea J Forever says, is the mohawk hair your real hair? If not, how does the makeup artist secure the hair on your head? Um, it's not my real hair, unfortunately kind of sometimes wish I could just wear that wig out. Um, I do have to shave my head to play Ian. Um, how they secure it, <laughs> they secure it by a double-sided sticky tape, aka cello tape, um, right down in the middle of my scalp, and then glue it down on the sides. There's like, it's, um, it's a lace front wig. You know, it's lace front, it's good stuff. Um, and they glue it down on either side, and then you just hope and pray that that stays on. Uh, funny story, it did not stay on when the, the fight sequence that happened between, between me and, between Ian and, and Gahiladon, um, aka Brayden, uh, we're getting really into it, you know, right, right, bro, let's go, we're gonna punch each other, we're gonna get right into it, come on! Um, and in one moment, I was like, I think it was like rugby tackling him, and then he ripped my, um, wig straight off. I, I hope it makes it into the bloopers, but it, the, my wig literally went flying. Uh, so, <laughs> has only happened once. Other times I've been quite energetic in the makeup truck and might be like someone's maybe put on a bit of Kylie or something. And I've been whipping my hair back and forth. And my whips have been so energetic that the wig has also went flying. Much to Annie, our, our head makeup artist's um, horror. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Is there any here? I think I'm running out of questions here. More stories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More wig stories. Um, let me see. Maybe there's another one here that I can go to. Okay. Carry on art. If Ian and Rolo could go on vacation together anywhere, where would they go? Money, travel, logistics, and that whole time space continuum thing um, are not restrictions. If Ian and Rolo could go on vacation together. Ian and Rolo. Where would you go? Where would you go? Probably just hit up Bora Bora, eh? Can't go wrong with a bit of Bora Bora. Down by the beach. Swim the manta rays. Chill out. I mean, it's quite stressful, right? I don't know if you've noticed this season. A lot of the characters are kind of stressed out. So just let's get away to paradise. Let's just escape it, you know? Me and Rolo, eh? Love Rolo. Love Rolo. Can't wait to see him. Can't wait to see him. We love hashtag Kahaladon. I love I love Braden. I'm gonna just put it out there. I am Braden's number one fan. Um, he is incredible. Me, Braden, and and Morgan. Uh, we really got on. We know we're a great little team together in that final section of season six. And uh, so we we commemorated it all by all getting tattoos. 
So we all have little wolves on our thighs, little single line drawn wolves that uh, will always mean about our time together filming Outlander season six, which I just, I just love. Um, <laughs> nice accent. It's because I, I feel like I'm doing my young Ian accent right now. This maybe isn't normally how I talk. I'm kind of making it a bit more Scottish for you all this evening. Um, yeah, it is quite stressful and tense so far this They all need a vacation. They all need a vacation. They need a glass of wine as well. Jeez. So I'll pick up a few people having wolf tattoos on Morgan's side. Yep, that was me. I'm, I, I'm the pasty white one. <laughs> you can spot my leg very easily. <laughs> um, we are loving the dance TikTok with your castmates. Keep them coming. Trust me, I will do my best, you know. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of diplomacy to try and get these, get these guys to join me in the TikTok, but I will do my best to keep up my, kind of set a standard for myself now, and I'm like, oh, I have to keep this up, um, but I love it, I love it, if it makes you guys laugh, if it, if it brings a smile to your face, I'm there, so, yeah, absolutely, I'm totally speaking like Ian, I am, it's hard, it's hard, it's the tap dar, the minute I start doing the tap, it's hard, you know, that's when I'm like, oh. Well, that's Ian. It's not me. Um, do a TikTok with Auntie Claire. Yeah, I should. A cat is the one that I'm missing so far. I need to get one with Katrina. Uh, last year it was a bit difficult, <laughs> obviously. Um, but uh, maybe this year I'll be able to get something. Um, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Por favor, en español, John. Pero hay muchas personas aquí que no hablan en español, ¿sabe? Um, otra vez, otra vez en español. Um, <laughs> uh, you're funny. What's your sign? I'm a Libra, which means I like to seduce as much as I like being seduced. So, um, season fil season seven filming when? I don't I don't know when season seven's filming. You know I don't I don't know. Who knows when season seven might be filming? Maybe just keep an eye out for an announcement soon. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, the bald. Um, <laughs> so, oh, me too, Libra. Libra team, Libra's rise. Libra's a great, iconic sign. Iconic sign. Right, I am waffling now. I am waffling. <laughs> Let me see if I've got any other ones here from Twitter. Um, do, 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 do. Um, what are some interesting facts you have learned from about the Cherokee and Mohawk tribes? Um, so a lot of cool stuff I learned. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, I think one of my favourites that I I learned. There's actually, I think there's actually, there's actually a story that came from one of the one of the essays who uh, was from the Ojibwe Nation, who told me about the the mythical water panther that lives in the Great Lakes, um, called the Michipeshu. And I was like, no way, you've got your own Loch Ness Monster? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we do. So I need to go to the Great Lakes and keep an eye out for the Michi Pesci. He's bald, gotta be soon. <laughs> um, what character, there we go, the Brandy Diaries, what character would you play if you weren't... Ian, hmm, it's hard because he is the best character. He's the coolest. So it's hard to pick somebody else to do. Um, can I want to play a baddie maybe? Maybe something completely different, you know? It's fun being the hero, but you don't get to always get, you know, a bit, a bit saucy, a bit dark with it. So maybe, maybe I'd play like, maybe play Galus. Yeah. But like, as John Bell, like a drag version of Galus. That'd be, I mean, to be fair, Lotta, she's kind of already a drag queen. So that would, that would fit pretty nicely. Um, <laughs> who is old Bell? Sam wants to know. Um, I don't know, but you should definitely ask him about his medicock. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, what part of your wardrobe really settles you into your character? Uh, it's, it's the jacket. It's the jacket with the fur. Once that goes on, boom. He's here. 
turning up to set. Let's go. Let's get in that four-way. Let's get in that SUV. Let's go down. Young Ian's in the Young Ian is in the building. Drag version of Gaelis is better than Gaelis. I don't know, they're kind of the same thing. Um, favorite blooper ever. So I don't think you guys ever saw this, but during the gauntlet in season four, we uh, we did that whole kind of sequence and it's very dancey. And I was, I was talking to one of the guys and I'm like, do you know what? In my head right now, when I'm doing this to keep beat, I've actually, I'm actually singing Barbra Streisand, Don't Rain in My Parade. You know, the don't tell me not to live, just sit and pop. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of ta ta, you know? So I've got that going in my head. And they all thought this was funny. So come to the rap party, you know, the, the blooper reel comes up, and there's young Ian doing the gauntlet to Barbara Streisand's Don't Rain in My Parade. I, I, I'm, sad, I'm sad you guys can't see it because it was, it was hilarious. I thought it was brilliant. Um, if you could change one thing in history with the Frasers. What would it be? Um, I could change one thing in history with the Frasers. Probably take one of the traumatic things that have happened to them out. Give them a bit of a break. Yeah, just give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we sit outside and we get a new episode and we're like, fabulous. Yeah, totally. Can't wait to delve into this trauma. Hi, Morgan. Morgan's here. Oh my God. Should we get Morgan to join? <gasps> Morgan. Can you join? Can I ask if you can join? She probably maybe she, I didn't I didn't see didn't check with her if she could. I've sent it. I've sent it. Let's see if she joins. No pressure, Morgan. No pressure at all. I look like crap. Oh my gosh, hey girl! <laughs> Hi! How's I it going? Hard. My wolf pack, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good! <laughs> Look, everybody's, everybody's been so nice about us. They are, they've been so sweet. Literally everybody. I've gotten the nicest messages from everyone. That's, that's the Outlander fan, that's the clan, you know? That's what we're about. We're about getting <laughs> that love. <laughs> I'm just eating lunch and I was nosy and I wanted to see what you were up to. Oh, well, I, I won't was... keep you from your lunch, but thanks for coming and saying hi. I'm sure yeah. I will see you soon. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? Bye, everybody. Go follow Morgan. Send her some love. She's amazing. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> love you. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> there you go, guys. This is my Wai Yon Hawe, my Emily. Um, <laughs> uh, so I think I'm kind of, have I got any more questions here? I'll answer a couple more, um, and I'll, I'll scroll through the chat and see, and see if there's any more here. What reality TV show would you go on if you had to? Mm, that's a good one. I do watch a lot of reality TV. Um... You know, I'm a big fan of The Amazing Race. Probably do that. Yeah. I've watched every single episode of The Amazing Race. <laughs> um, uh, there he goes soon. You're reading in stuff, guys. You're reading in stuff. Um, have, you, uh, have you read the books? Yes, I have read the books. Um, so I know there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, so yeah, very, very excited. Um, hi, Nigra. Hi, hello. Uh, when we see you on stage again, you're amazing live. Oh, well, thank you so much. Um, I recently, I don't know if you guys know, but I recently did a one man show in London called The Night Larry Kramer Kissed Me, which was really important to me. Um, it's the story of this young man's journey of self discovery and actualization during the AIDS crisis in New York. It was written by an amazing writer called David Drake. And I did that for three weeks for a run there. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking like, oh, will it be able to go stream? And it will be. Um, we filmed it on the last two shows. So keep your eyes post for, <laughs> Hola, Nacho, um, for um, more updates on that. It should be coming out soon. Uh, but I'm very, very proud of that little, that little bit of performance I did. Um, and then I'll just end on one final question. Skin looks amazing, by the way. Thank you. Just the dewy natural look. Um, Sandra asked on Twitter, any upcoming non-Outlander projects you can tell us about? 
I'm very excited to share with you all that my dear friend, Rosie Kearney, my muse, my love, uh, is releasing her album soon. And her single that she's releasing first called Dad, um, I did the music video for her. So there's a little teaser on her page of my music, of, the, of our music video together. And I'm very excited for you all to see it. You'll see me getting a like angry young guy, voguing and dancing in skate parks in Tottenham. So that is coming out, I think, tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, keep an eye, keep an eye peeled. Uh, I'm very, very proud of that little, that little piece of art me and my best friend created. Um, well, thank you so much, guys. Um, I'll make sure to save this. So uh, if you're watching this in the future, hello. Um, and I can't wait for you all to see the rest of the season. Um, this has been really fun. Should do another one. Um, and thank you as well to Morgan for popping on and saying hi. Lots and lots of love. Mis amores. Te mando un beso grande. Os mando un beso grande. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kisses, 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 cuddles, hugs, the whole shebang. Enjoy season six. It's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get better.